everyone and welcome to Fort Monsters vlog for the Warhammer for the Fasting Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to Frog discussion number 11 of this vlog today we're gonna take a closer look at the, the newly re released and announced Nathaniel Garrow, the Hand of the Siege Lights so this character is a personal f favorite of mine as, and I assume that many others also find him as one of their favorites uh, particularly on the loyalists side he first appeared in the story called uh, well you could say that he made a small cameo in Galaxy in Flames but he, the first proper novel where he uh, appeared was in Flight of the Eisenstein written by James Swallow as one of the few loyalist characters from the traitor legions who actually survived and managed to escape from Istvan uh, he turned his back on his former legion, the Death Guard, and became a Knight Errant of the City Light, which is a more or less proto Astartes of the Grey Knights chapter. He is one of the most well documented characters with artwork to show exactly how he looks like from different angles, but mostly from the same artist, Neil Roberts. So, Forge One had a lot of material to utilize when it came, came to creating this uh, model. And just personally, I would say that they tr truly captured his persona. So let's go into detail and check out how, how he looks like. So from what we can see here, I would say that this is Garrow during the Kalf conflict when he comes to find Rubio, the former librarian of the Ultramarines Legion, and they battle the word bearers. At his feet we see a slain Gal Warback. Garrow has his unmarked and uncolored armor of the Sigilite and has cast away his former allegiance. The big problem here is that uh, I love the Death Guard colors and I think it would have been great to have him in, the, in his former Legion uniform during the flight of the Eisenstein time era when they escaped Istvan. Garrow post Istvan is, is for me quite uninteresting, particularly in the stories. All he do is go around and collect Legionnaires who will become the future Grey Knights which is some of the most boring fluff background ever. I, I really don't give a crap about the Grey Knights. They do nothing for me. I know they are important and they do serve a role, but come on. I, 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 yeah, they, they're not for me just. So the grey armor doesn't sit well with me, and that's just a personal opinion. If I were to could, if I were to get Garrow, I would paint him as a death guard, and I think I would do the, the same and uh, paint the word bearer as a plague marine instead. But if I look at past those problems, I would uh, I would say the model looks great, it really made Gary in the way I pictured him and the, per and the pose is perfect for it as well. The word bearer lying on the ground is also a quite nice detail, so they did everything right with this uh, model. On his shoulders you then see the future mark of the Inquisition. I know for a certain fact that I won't be getting him, as I don't collect his legion and I don't give a crap about the knight errands. Uh, but the price for the model, I would say, is it's actually something I can live with, uh, with takes, yeah, in, co in consideration with the previous uh, four discussions where I've complained a lot about the pricing. Uh, because it's a fantastic model that can live up to this price. So this model would get two thumbs up for me, and I would have gotten it if I had the spare, true, spare, spare room, the money to buy him, and uh, the time to paint him up. But yeah, that's more or less everything I have for this dis for discussion. Please give me your opinions what you think about the Garrow model. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so keep on doing them. And leave negative critique of things I'm doing bad so you don't improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if, uh, if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this fourth discussion. For the Emperor! Bye!